Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Summer's Blood. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The film begins with a girl named Summer hitchhiking along the roadside when a man pulls over and offers her a ride. Summer accepts the offer, and while on the road, she shares that she's heading to a small town. The man claims he's going through that town, and it's no trouble for him to drop her over. However, he wants a favor in exchange. He subtly suggests she gives him a hormone game to return the favor. However, Summer unexpectedly pulls out a gun, points it at the man, and threatens him to keep his eyes on the road, not on her sexy body, or she will pull the trigger. The man can only nod in fear as he drives. The next scene shows Summer arriving at a gas station, where she shoplifts food at a store. Unbeknownst to her, the sheriff's watching her from afar. He approaches her and tells her to pay for the things she shoplifted. However, Summer pulls down a rack as a diversion before running out, causing the sheriff to trip over. She hides behind a trash bin, and a man named Tom surprisingly gives the wrong direction to the sheriff. As the sheriff runs the other way, Tom instructs Summer to get in his car. Summer reluctantly obliges before they drive away. While on the road, Summer questions Tom about why he helped her. Tom replies that the sheriff previously busted him for a drinking charge. Later that day, Tom and Summer end up at a local bar. After a few drinks, Tom offers his place nearby, but Summer replies that she's not an easy girl like he thinks. Tom responds that he has not worked on a girl harder in his life until her. Summer smirks and stands up to leave. They run into a woman biker and a car shop owner named Jesse. Summer asks if Tom has slept with Jesse, which he denies. They soon arrive at Tom's place, where Summers discovers that he lives with his mom. Summer asks him if he's been sleeping with his mom. Tom just smirks before following Summer upstairs to his room for a hormone section. Unbeknownst to them, Tom's mom is outside, listening to their hormone noises. As the morning arrives, Summer fixes herself, before going downstairs to the kitchen to scavenge the money from the jar. Suddenly, Tom appears from the bedroom, prompting her to explain that she didn't wake him up to avoid the goodbyes of a one-night stand. Tom refuses to let her leave, telling her that she can't leave. Threatened, Summer pulls out her gun and threatens Tom to let her go. Tom doesn't say anything and moves away from the door. The mother suddenly appears and smacks Summer on the back of her head, knocking her out. Tom immediately shows the revolver's bullets on his hand, explaining that he had everything under control. But the mother blames him for being so childish. Tom then takes care of a knocked out Summer. The scene ships to a beardy man named Beardy coming home, only to find his house empty without a trace of beards. He searches for his beardless daughter named Amber, but all he sees are a stinking fridge and rotten food, indicating that no one has lived in that place for a long time. Meanwhile, Summer wakes up in the basement, where she finds a wigged woman and numerous human skulls. Tom explains that the beardless woman, Amber, is still alive, but is weakened due to lack of sunlight. Tom adds that Amber brought life to the basement, which he calls his own garden, after another woman died. He then takes one of the skulls and shows it to Summer. Tom claims that it's the only remains of the dead woman. Summer freaks out as she realizes that Tom is a serial killer. Summer believes that he killed this woman, but Tom insists that he would never hit a woman. He claims that the dead woman died due to a spider bite infection. After that, Tom leaves his garden. Later that day, while working in their thrift store, Tom and his mom see Beardy pass by. This concerns the mother, as she knows Beardy will ask questions about Amber's whereabouts. However, Tom doesn't care as the townspeople know that Amber is a troubled girl, and it's been two months since he kidnapped her, and no one has even mentioned her name since then. Later that day, Summer begs Tom to let her go, as she only came to the town to see her father for once. Tom jokes around in reply, showing an empty drum to Summer, which he claims is her father's remains. Meanwhile, Beardy goes to the local bar and asks the bartender if he has seen Amber. The bartender replies that it has been a while since he last saw her, also saying that she was last seen with Tom and other strangers. The following day, the mother instructs Tom to dispose of Amber in summer, which he firmly refuses to do. After that, Tom goes to his garden and tends it by watering summer, before heading to his work across town. On the other hand, Beardy asks for the sheriff's help to find his beardless daughter and informs him that Amber was last seen with Tom. The sheriff doesn't care much because of Amber's reputation, but he will look into it. However, he warns Beardy not to meddle with police business, as it might get him back into prison. Later that day, while stopping by Jesse's shop, Tom receives a phone call from Beardy. He asks Tom to stop by his house to check and repair his oven. Although shocked, Tom does his best to hide his nervousness at Beardy's sudden call. They agree to meet later at night. Hours later, Tom returns to his garden and shares that he started growing stuff there when his father locked him up for days for being a bad kid. Summer takes her turn and shares her relationship with her mother and how something pushed her over to the edge of leaving her. 
It turns out, Summer's mother had lied to her about her father. She grew up not knowing her dad because of her mom. But recently, she found a picture of her. Her mother lied to her dad and told him she died of miscarriage because her mom never wanted to see him again. That's why she ran away from home and decided to look for her dad with only his picture and letter. Meanwhile, the sheriff stops at the mother's thrift store to buy a gift. She happily gives him a sun hack for free and even flirts with him for a moment. As soon as she reaches home, she immediately drinks, stressed by Beardy and the sheriff. The mother later shares with Tom how Beardy asked for the sheriff's help to find his daughter. Tom shares how it's a coincidence Beardy asks him to fix his stove. This angers her, so she slaps her son and instructs him to get rid of the two girls. However, Tom fights back and firmly refuses to waste all his hard work. As they both calm down, the mother and son soon do a smelly workout. As expected, while fixing the stove, Beardy asks Tom about his missing daughter. Tom shares about sharing a few drinks with Amber a couple of months ago and pretends he has never seen her after that. While Tom tells him a lot of alibis, Summer snaps Amber out of her weakness and convinces her to cooperate. Although weakened, Amber tries to get one of the tools on the wall, but the chains around her ankles forbid her. She accidentally slips and hits her head on the cement blocks, which kills her. Later, Tom arrives and is furious after discovering what happened. Summer apologizes as Tom carries Amber's corpse upstairs. Tom sheds tears as he finishes burying Amber in the woods because he takes it personally whenever he loses one of his garden angels. The following day, while going through Summer's stuff, Tom reads her diary. He discovers something that is yet to be revealed. After that, he releases Summer from the chains and cleans her dirty body up before taking her to his bedroom. Although suspicious and confused by his sudden change of treatment, Summer remains silent as she's exhausted. However, as soon as she recovers, Summer attempts to escape, but Tom catches her every time, so Tom has no choice but to return her to the basement. Elsewhere, Beardy is going insane, thinking about his beardless daughter's whereabouts. Later that night, the mother returns home and castigates Tom for his actions. However, Tom shows her something important that will be revealed later. They go downstairs, and he tells Amber that she can stay as long as she helps around the house. Tom tells her she belongs to them, and there's a lot she doesn't know yet. Meanwhile, Beardy leaves a note in Jesse's shop, asking her to call him about his missing daughter as soon as possible. Tom tells Summer that she can stay upstairs while he's in the house, but she will be chained down to the basement whenever he's working outside. They return upstairs, where she is welcomed by the mother with dinner. She apologizes for her behavior and tells Summer to treat them as her family. Summer agrees to everything they say, just to stay alive and survive. Summer and Tom regularly do their workout routine, and every time, Tom asks her to say she loves him, which she obliges. One night, the mother receives an unexpected call from her husband, Gant, who's been away for a long time because of work. She tells him there's a lot for them to talk about when Gant entertains a hooker, claiming it's part of his work. After a while, the mother barges into Tom's room and happily informs him that his father is returning home. The following day, Summer notices how Tom's mood has changed after learning that his dad will be coming home. Summer attempts to calm him down, not using her muscles, but filling his head with words he'd like to hear. However, Tom only pushes her away. After that, Tom stops by Jesse's service center to replace his gas tanks. Jesse informs him that she will direct Beardy to him after finding the note Beardy left, since Tom was the last person to see Amber before she took off. It turns out, Jesse saw Amber getting into Tom's truck the night she took off. Tom tries to deny it, but Jesse seems so sure about seeing them. So he apologizes for not remembering it and tells Jesse not to call Beardy. He then leaves the center while being pissed off. Later that day, while Jesse is closing her shop, Tom suddenly attacks her from behind. He chokes her using his powerful muscles, causing her to lose consciousness soon. Tom takes Jesse to their house basement, where she regains consciousness. While Summer tries to stop him from imprisoning another woman, Jesse silently frees herself from the ropes and uses her pocket knife to stab Tom in the foot, but not in his ass. The mother arrives just in time, slipping her off and knocking her unconscious. She wraps her son's wound with a bandage upstairs while castigating his stupidity. The following day, the mother leaves to go at the market. Jesse's screams can be heard upstairs, which pisses Tom's shit off. So he instructs Summer to go down and keep her quiet, as he can't walk properly due to his wound. Meanwhile, Beardy stops by Jesse's center, looking for her when he accidentally finds Tom's calling cards scattered out front. Summer returns upstairs and helps Tom get out to get fresh air. While the two are alone, Tom brings up the idea of them escaping everything and starting a life together. Summer reluctantly agrees, so Tom tells her they will leave as soon as his wound heals. Suddenly, they see a car arriving. Tom instructs Summer to return inside. However, seeing the opportunity, Summer kicks his wound and runs toward the driver, Beardy. 
Summer tries to tell him that Tom's gonna kill them, but Birdie asks questions about Amber being captive by Tom. They run out of time, as Tom returns inside and gets his shotgun. He shoots Beardy in the head, but not in his beard, splattering his blood and brains in the car. Summer tries to run away when Tom shoots a warning shot. Just in time, the mother arrives, furious after seeing the mess before her. Later that night, Gant arrives and is welcomed by his wife. However, Gant returns her welcome with an insult. She dismisses his comment about her weight and watches as Tom reunites with his dad. Gant then asks about the picture that she talked about on the phone. The mother gives him the photo, showing him with Summer's mother. This reveals that Gant is actually the father that Summer has been looking for, indicating that Summer has been having sex with his brother all this time. After that, Gant goes down to the basement and reunites with his daughter, Summer. He tells Summer how they both got lied to by Summer's mom. Gant finally notices Jesse, and after realizing she's a fighter, he returns upstairs with Summer. He takes one of the sharpest kitchen knives, but the smallest one. He's excited to teach Summer how to be a serial killer like them, but Tom refuses to get her involved. So Gant stomps on his wound before returning to the basement, where he teaches Summer how to traumatize victims. As he returns upstairs, Gant faces his wife, who's pissed about the fact that Gant got one of his women pregnant. As the morning comes, the sheriff arrives and informs them about finding Beardy's car burnt to crisps with his body inside. After lying about Tom's whereabouts, the mother returns to the kitchen. She faces her husband's anger. He accuses her of sleeping with the sheriff, which she denies hurtfully. Not in the move anymore, Gan instructs Summer to pack her stuff as she's coming with him. However, Tom refuses to let that happen and even accepts his dad's challenge to kill him to get Summer back. Gant taunts his son to grab the knife and stick it into him. However, Tom freezes in his spot, so Gant drops the knife and tosses his son out of the kitchen. Gant then blames his wife for turning Tom against him, but she reasons out and blames Tom's behavior on Summer, as he probably has gone soft because of her being around him. The shouting gets interrupted when Tom enters holding his shotgun. Again, Gant taunts his son to pull the trigger, but Tom doesn't have the guts to do so. Gant steals the gun instead and shoots his shitty son. The mother runs to Tom's aid, but Gant shows no care. However, Gant is not done yet. He pulls the trigger on his wife and kills her. Summer can only cry in silence as she watches how sick this family is, especially her own dad, whom her mother has warned her about. Gant then forces Summer to come, leaving his house with three dead bodies. They drive to a nearby park where Gant approaches a woman packing her picnic set up. Summer silently gets out of the car and stabs her dad to death. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.